one is just two cups of water and one cup of rice. I'm of course using the pepper dough. Hey, what's up, y'all? We're about to do it. We're doing uh, stuffed bell peppers. I've already got the rice going. It's just two cups of water and one cup of rice. I put a little butter in it. We're good to get. Um, these are the seasonings I'm using for the meat. Just some ground beef. I'm, of course, here are the peppers over here. I'm going to mix with the rice. I'm going to do just some fire roasted diced. To, um, tomatoes, um, of course the ground beef, rice, seasonings, and I'm also going to put cheese in it. So uh, let's do it. Okay, y'all, get you a baking pan or sheet. I got a deep dish type dish glass, tempered glass that is excellent for in the oven. Go ahead on the preheat your oven to 375 degrees. I'm just going to drizzle a little olive oil in here and just coat it with a napkin spread it all around okay here are your four bell peppers while we're waiting on the rice to get done and I'm going to start the meat shortly just uh, take your bell peppers and you're going to cut the tops off and then gut out all the seeds in the middle And you're just going to gut all that out. And you can pull, I like to just cut it up here at the top to break the seal. And you just take, you can take a spoon on your hand and just gut it out. But we're just going to twist it and clean all that out. And then you're good to go. Okay, y'all, keep your tops. I'm going to use these. I'm making some turkey burgers, and so I'm going to actually use these when I do those on tomorrow night. So don't throw this away. You can always keep these. Actually, you can chop up this and put it in with your ground beef, but I'm going to mix onions with mine. I was going to also show y'all something. If y'all get a bell pepper, and when you sit it on its feet, if you will, and it leans over, you can just cut off the ends so it can be flat, so it'll sit more flat. Now, I'm okay with this one leaning a little bit over, but if you want to, to make it sit straight up, because once you get everything in it, you don't want it to be top heavy. Um, but I'm going to just cut off the end so it'll sit more flat. See? And watch the difference. See how it sits straight up? That's all you got to do. Guess what I'm going to do with the feet that I cut off? These little end pieces. Guess what? I want all my pepper, honey. They're going right in there. Okay, y'all. Now we're just going to dice this onion up. We're going our ground beef. You can do this to medium. Just so we have that onion flavor. Flavor. And I've only got one pound of meat, so I don't want it to over. I don't want the onion really to overpower, because you know we got the green bell pepper. That's the star of the show. Okay, and let's get started on the meat. All right, y'all. When I do my ground beef. When I take it out of the tray, I like to ball it up because I don't want to see them squiggly lines when I'm cooking. So this is what I do to keep from seeing them squiggly lines. Okay, y'all, I think I've showed this to y'all before, honey. If y'all don't have one of these, you need to get one in your life. This is by Pampered Chef, and it is the best when you're doing for this hamburger. 
ground anything. It just beads it up perfectly. And when you use it, you just twist and turn it, twist and turn it. Just breaks that meat right on up. Love it. The best 13 bucks I spent. And you may have can find these at Walmart, but this is tried and true, and it'll, it's going to last forever, seem like. You might can get the cheap ones, but they may break on you. Love it. See how it's beating up so beautifully? I'm not going to make them any smaller. The more you keep twisting and turning, the smaller the hamburger pieces will get. So I'm satisfied with this side because I want my peppers to have a bite to them. A bite. Okay, y'all. The meat is done. I'm going to drain off uh, this grease and then we'll put the seasonings in there. Okay, y'all. We've drained the meat off. And I want some garlic in mine, so I'm going to put like a half a teaspoon of garlic in mine. Again, that flavor. Here are the onions. No, I can't have my peppers without onions. Then we'll add the dry seasoning next. All right, y'all, we're going to do a dash of salt, some onion powder, a little garlic powder, a little accent. some black pepper and I'm going to put a little soy sauce stir that around and I always do my seasoning after I've drained the meat because if you put all the seasoning and all this goodness in here and you have to drain that grease off. I mean, all your flavor is going to drain out with it. So I'm going to use some Kokemon just a little bit. About a good teaspoon. And I may put a dash of sugar because when I put these uh, roasted, um, fire roasted tomatoes in here to cut off that acidity and that tartness. Okay. And the rice is done. All right, y'all. See, the rice is done. All right, y'all, we're going to go ahead on and put these roasted tomatoes in here. Stir it up, stir it up. some of this rice in here putting half of it right now
once I mix it up, I'm going to taste it just to see if I need any other seasonings in it. Oh, it smells awesome, y'all. Awesome. And let's just taste it so we can see if I need to add anything. Oh my, y'all, that's almost perfect. Oh, almost perfect. I'm going to put a dash of sugar in here, y'all. Just this teaspoon. And just cut that tartness. But it is, oh, it's, I blended that just good. I always remember when you're cooking, do a dash of everything first. And it's easier to add. Okay, now what I like to do is I mix in, and I think this is going to be enough rice. I like to mix in triple cheddar. I mix that in with my meat, and then I top it with sharp cheddar. So let's do it. Don't be scared, y'all. Don't be scared. Ain't nobody got time for you to be scared. I'm telling y'all. This is a quick, easy meal for us working folk. I'm telling you, it is a quick, easy meal. Boil the rice 15 minutes, 10 minutes. Cook your meat. You got a 30 minute meal. Well, actually about 45 minutes because you need to put them in Put the peppers in the oven for about 20 minutes. Everything is cooked. And you don't need to put a whole lot of salt in it because that cheese is salty as well. All right, we're ready to stuff these bad boys. Let me just taste it. Let me taste it. Oh man, that's the money. That's the money. The money shot. All right, come on. Let's go on and get the filling. Oh, looks so good to me. <laughs> Thank you, Soul for Tea. I don't even know if you know who I am. Soul for Tea, I'm shouting you out. I modified mine based on how I like mine, but thanks for reminding me of this recipe. All right, let's go on and start. Just put them in there, stuff them, stuff them, stuff them. Stuff these bad boys. tell my mom on y'all see see how y'all do see how y'all do and I've got another can of diced tomatoes and I'm gonna just pour it all over it once I put the cheese on it so now let's do the sharp cheddar. It'll make it better.
Again, preheat your oven to 375. If you want to get fancy with your, if you ever have company, you can keep these tops. But I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna use them. You can keep them tops and top them off. You want to be like fancy, fancy. Just stuff it on down in there, y'all. Stuff it, push, push it on in there. Push it in there. Like salt and pepper. Okay, let me go get the other can of diced tomatoes and we're going to be done, y'all. I mean, are you kidding me? Do you what? Oh, y'all, I had a can of tomato sauce instead of more to I'm going to just do the tomato sauce and I'm just going to haphazardly just drop it everywhere. That way you can just pour that sauce. When you eat it, it's extra sauce. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. All right, y'all, these are ready to go in the oven for about 20 minutes. I like my bell peppers have a still a little bit of a crunch to them. We are ready to do it. Alright, let's do it. 20 minutes, we're ready. Oh my God, y'all, look at that. Are you kidding me? I'm about to get into it. I can't even talk about it because I think I might get too emotional. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Get on the flavor train. Get on the flavor train. Get on the flavor, the flavor, the flavor train. Get on the flavor train with your girl, Lady T. Ooh, yeah. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your girl, Tanya Lady T. And yes, this is another edition of Lady T Sensations. Get on board because what? The tickets are free. Y'all, I'm doing this quick video. This is actually um, a leftover bell pepper uh yeah i put a little bit more cheese and uh tomato sauce on mine um me and miss seal fox told them things down i had to get two more bell peppers because i had some mix still left over uh yeah we did the daggone thing yesterday but anyway so this is the last one so i'm going to um devour this i hope y'all enjoyed the cooking portion in front of this video so uh we're gonna do it Cause I got some things to do this evening. I've got to do my uh, get with my girlfriend type deal later on. So I got out of, off early. Uh, I got off early today so I can uh, do what I need to do. And we're also doing a vanilla coke. Yes, y'all. I'm telling you again, Soulful Tea. Thank you for the reminder. I was watching her video maybe a week or so back, and I thought. We got to do it. Got to do it. So, oh, yes. Y'all thought I forgot the crazy. <laughs> Thank you, most gracious and heavenly Father, for the food I'm about to receive, for the nourishment of my body, for Christ's sake. And I thank you for soul fatigue, Lord. Bless her. I think she's on her weight loss journey. Lord, give her the endurance to endure. Amen. All right, y'all. Let's do it. And I normally just cut mine right in half. And since I had to warm it up in the microwave, because I ain't have time to fool around with no stove, um, my pepper is uh, not, it's not mushy, but it's more cooked. I like mine to have a little crunch to it so it can just easily be cut through. But I'm telling y'all, this is a good, quick, simple dinner. Tomorrow I'm going to be cooking um, turkey burgers. Corn on the cob. Uh, I may do a mukbang for that. Mm. Hot. 
Mm. But that sure is good. The flavor. And it's even better the second day because all your flavor had the opportunity to permeate and marinate all night long. But yeah, cleaning up my mess. Dribble, dribble. I hope y'all can see it good. But y'all, today was one of them days where it was like everybody was watching the clock. Is it five yet? Is it five yet? Let me let y'all see what it looks like. Look close because I know you want to see it. Yes, yes. Mmm. And we had cucumber salad with this. I just didn't have time to make any more. Mm. I was going to try to do a mukbang last night with uh, Mr. Silverfoss, but we got too deep talking about politics. You know we don't do that here on this platform. Oh! Mmm. Mmm. Telling y'all, we need to do it. All the flavors that rice, the roasted to tomato, that pepper. Mm. Fabulous. Fabulous. Mmm, hot. Mmm. 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 When you eat these type of pepper, that heat is still inside the middle. Burn your mouth up, but it's so good. Oh. Y'all thought I was lying. I'm telling y'all. Mm. During lunch today, we were talking about how, um, I can't even remember where it was. One of my coworkers pulled up where a homeowner, they had walked in their backyard and there were four, count them, four cubs in their swimming pool. They was having a good time, honey. Tell them the heat. The heat is on. They were doing, honey, you would have thought they was on the Olympic team, honey. They were flipping and jumping off, doing bombs. <laughs> Can't, no, excuse me, cannonballs. Oh, yeah, they were having the most. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, y'all, this is so enjoyable. So enjoyable. Oh.
Mm. Mm. Y'all, we just gonna eat tonight because like I said, I got something to do. It's good to get away, get out with your girlfriends. It's just one friend of mine. It's not plural tonight, but Mm. Yes, yes, indeed. And I'm looking at me a, a, a new kitchen table. I want a pub uh, type table. But yeah, we just gonna touch bases. It's just jaw jack. That's why I said, let me go on to eat. Cause you know when you have them good, good girlfriend, they love to talk, honey. I thought I love to talk, honey. Honey. <laughs> yeah. I said, yeah. Let me go on to eat first. But you know, that's what you have to do. Yeah, you can get on the telephone and stuff like that, but sometimes when you haven't seen a good friend in a while, it's good to just lay your eyes on them. Knee to knee, eyeball to eyeball. Girl, what's up? What's going on? You know, that type of thing. Y'all, I haven't thoroughly enjoyed this, but I'm telling you, we were like savages last night. That was some good eating. And we were so deep in what we were talking about. Oh, I love it. It is so good. Now, I, I'm, not, I'm not even trying to be funny. It is so good when you can talk to somebody about deep stuff politically you might disagree on a few things but you don't get to you don't come to blows you don't feel like you finna fight that person you respect each other's views and you're not trying to convince somebody or something you know if you have a view you just have a view on some things but that's what I love about Mr. Silverfall. He has an understanding, listening ear, listening heart. And when I tell you we chop it up like a salad, we chop it up, y'all. And so that's why I don't do many boot bangs with him because that's that's our time. That's our special time. But anyway, y'all, if you don't know, now you know. But y'all, I need to do is just freshen up my makeup and
my friends be tripping off at me because they know me. Unless it's a real special occasion, honey. And I get nervous around 9 o'clock. I, I feel like everything going to turn back to pumpkins and vine. And I like to be back in the house. Y'all yeah, know how I am about bugs. I try to explain to people. Let me tell you. There's different level of bugs. Let me just break it on down for y'all right, real quick, right quick, right quick, right quick. See, there's certain bugs that are out and about during the day, the heat of the day. And it's, it's so hot now, they don't come, really come out. But then as it gets cooler and the evening progresses, you have different types of bugs that begin to permeate the atmosphere. Okay? Them seven, well, from six to about 7.30, you have a type of bug. During the day, you hear them loud noise-making bugs. You know, you hear them. Well, as you progress through the day, like I said, so you got the six and 7.30 style bugs. Then from 7.30... To 8.30, there's another type of hanging out bug, you know. They're a little bit lazy. They just come out and see what's, you know, what's happening, what's happening. But then you got the nocturnal type bugs that come out like between 9 and 11. And then that's when the other critters come out so they can eat those bigger, juicier nocturnal uh, bugs. Oh, there's a there. I, I'm not a mad woman. There's a there's a method to to my madness, if you will. I know where I need to be because between nine thirty, nine thirty eleven, that's when all the freaks come out at night. That's them bugs that you see that they line your door. And they line your door because they're waiting on them other little bugs to fly by so they can snatch them up. So, and then, you know, your neighbors, they have their outside porch lights on. I don't keep, I don't put my, you know how they say, leave the light on for me? No, you won't never get no light left on by me. You know, some people like to have their light porches lit so that, you know, they can see how to get in their door. No. No. Not I, not I. <laughs> if I ever have to go to my mama house at night, whether it's summertime or wintertime, let me tell you something. I always tell my mom, listen, I'm getting ready to come over there. Like, if, if I have to run an errand for her and it's after dark, I tell her, mom, I'm getting ready to pull up, cut your porch light off. She, oh, she knows the, she knows the routine. Because I don't need nothing flying and flicking around me. Because you know, like a moth to, to a flame. You know how bugs like to fly around lights. Mm -mm. So, like I said, I have to be in at a certain time uh, on purpose. Because I don't want to run into the knock. I can deal with the, 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 the 6 to 8.30, 8.45 bugs. But them 9 o'clock on up through midnight bugs we're not friendly we're not friendly at all because they are strange type bugs that come on and then they don't care they don't care about your space they're trying to eat they're out they're tending to their business but they line up uh, like I said they, they are all around your door jam so when you see or hear my family picking at me yeah they know when they see me out past nine, they look at me kind of strange because they want to see if, is a vine going to grow out of my back because I'm about to turn into a pumpkin, honey. They understand. And they know not to be around me. That, nobody too much walks around me at night unless they just don't know. But at nighttime, nobody really walks around me because they already know the deal. Because if something fly on me, and that's the thing at night, you stand out there talking. You know, people be standing outside in the summertime talking and blah, 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 blah. no, no. If I do it, I'm 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 either saying hi or bye to you. I, I'm not gonna stand out and hold no long conversation with you in the nighttime at dark. Nope, nope, nope. Cause see, 
stuff swoop down and fly across your forehead and fly across your ear. You can't see it. Nah. So I'm not going to put, I don't like to put myself through that kind of stuff. So anyway, yeah, yeah. Anyway, let me go, let me go, let me go. Anyway, I thank y'all for stopping on the flavor train because what? What? Flavors where it's at. And stay tuned for Sunday because uh, me and Mr. Silver Fox will be on the scene with that black love lean. <laughs> anyway, bye y'all. Love you.